Hey, welcome to I Can Alter Set with coaches Alex and John. This is John here. Today we're going to cover Alteryx challenge number four. Let's get started. All right, so in this challenge, let's go ahead and run this. Our goal is to take this field right here. It has a bunch of text and there's some date hidden within the text. And basically we, we want to pull that date out and then format it as an Alteryx date field. Unfortunately, what makes this a, an advanced challenge is the date formats are different. So like here we have two digit day, the month abbreviation, four digit year. But then here we have a, the month abbreviation, the day, comma, four digit year. We've got a two digit year. We've got, well here's a similar one but without a comma. The month, single day, no comma, year. Okay, so it looks like we've got like three or four different things going on. Okay, so what we've got to do is pull out some regex. I hope you like your regular expressions because there's probably going to be a lot in this one. So what we want to do is go ahead and write an expression. So I think what I'm going to do is take it one piece at a time. So let's just start on this first record and let's parse out this date and see what other dates are left after we do this format. So a two digit day dash month of three digit abbreviation dash four digit year. So we go back in here, our regular expression will be parenthesis backslash D in squiggly brackets, we'll put a two. This tells us that we want to match exactly two digit characters. And we'll put dash backslash u. Then in squiggly brackets, a three. So this is matching three uppercase characters. But because we have it checked case insensitive, we could also use an L there, which would be for lowercase. So we'll put a dash backslash D, and in here, we'll put a four for four digit characters. And we'll close that out. For the output method, we want to parse it. And let's go ahead and connect a browse tool and see what happens. All right, well, that looks good. So it matched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of the 17 were matched with that regular expression. So now we, we've got this third one here. And actually that one's a lot different. So let's go ahead and look at this one, record number five, which is pretty similar. It's a two digit day, month abbreviation, but this time it's a two digit year. So what I wanna do there, and actually what we, we could technically do this in this last like backslash D squiggly bracket four, I could do two comma four, which would match either two digits or four digits. But, and you see what happens, we still get, we get that record in there. But just thinking ahead, I don't know if I want that. I, I think I would like each of my different date types in their own columns. So rather than doing that and being like hyper efficient, I'm simply gonna copy this so the OR operator is a pipe, and I'm going to paste it, and now I'm just going to replace that 4 right there with a 2. And you see down here, we now have two different output columns. And if I go ahead and run it, you see that matched with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 extra columns. So that leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4 records haven't been matched at all yet. Again, record three, I want to save that for the end. Along with record nine, they're very similar. Let's see record 10. We've got a fully spelled out month right there. And in record 13, we have a two digit year, four or month abbreviation, but only a one digit day. 
So actually what we can do there, because of the one digit day is not such a big deal, I am going to go to the second one right here and do one comma two. And that should take care of that last one that was still unmatched. Yeah, and you see right there. The reason I, I don't really care about this one being with the rest of them is because I can just pad a zero on the front. And it's not really a big deal. It doesn't add any complexity. So now let's go ahead and deal with this one right here where the month is fully spelled out. So let's just go ahead and copy this first one again. Put a new pipe, do that. But now instead, so we still have the two digit day. We still have the four digit year, but now we have more than three digits. So I'm gonna do a three comma, and that, what that's telling is take three or more uppercase characters. But again, because it's case insensitive, it doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. And you see like that, it didn't get matched there because July is greater than three characters. And it's okay because like the month of May is three, three letters, but its abbreviation is the same as the name. So May would get matched in the first column either way. So finally, let's go ahead and match records three and nine, which we have our month abbreviation, a one or two digit day, a four digit year and then there may or may not be <clears throat> a comma in the middle. So we'll put a new pipe and I'll start typing this one. So we've got backslash u squiggly three a space backslash d and in here remember it was a one or two digits so we'll do one comma two. So now we had a comma and we had a space. So what we can do is use the period, which it, which means, if you click on this, it'll tell you, a period represents any single character. And so if we do period and then a squiggly bracket one comma two, this will take care of either, it's either a space or a comma and a space or two spaces or one space. So that should take care of all those possibilities. And finally, backslash D and we'll do a two or four just to be safe there. And if you run this, now we shouldn't have any rows that haven't been matched somewhere. And it looks like we're good there. So now what we need to do is convert these four different cases into a date format. So let's drop down a formula tool. And I'm going to be slick and try to do this all in one formula put the date type down to date. So let's say, let's look at the first column. So these are all empties right here. So I'll say if not is empty, so the exclamation mark here means not. So if not is empty, regex out one. So basically for all records where there is data in that column, then we'll do a date time parse of regex out one. And here we have to identify the format. So we've got the way in the date time parse, the way it's formatted is percent. We have a two digit day, so that is lowercase d. We'll put a dash. Then we have the month abbreviation. That is denoted by percent lowercase b dash percent. And a capital Y is our four digit year. And let's just round this out and see what it looks like. Okay, April 16th, 2005, April, yeah, all those look good. So now let's just continue that pattern. Else if not is empty, regex out two, then date time parse of regex out two. This time, well, you see we've got a two digit or a one digit day. But actually, Alteryx is smart enough to know that a lowercase d should grab both of those cases, so we should be fine. Dash lowercase b, and then here we have a lowercase y for a two digit year. 
Let's run that. Okay, so 1970, June 27th. Yeah. June 6th, 2000, or June 30th, 2006. Yeah, those all look good there. So, two to go. Else if not is empty. Regex out three. Okay, so now for the third column, we've got a two digit day, the fully spelled out month, and a four digit year. So that'll be again lowercase d. The fully spelled out month is the percent sign uppercase b. And as you see in the four digit year is capital Y. Okay, July 9th, 2001, that looks good. So finally, it's down to this last one. So this will be the same idea, but we have to take care of one extra little thing. Oops. Because we have that comma in there, that could mess things up. So, before... What I'm going to do is simply throw a replace in here of regex out four, where our target is a comma, and we're replacing it with nothing. So now they're both of those should be in the same format, and we can go ahead and finish this up. That would be a lowercase b, space, lowercase d, space, uppercase y. And that should get all of our dates in the right format. November 16th, 1900. January 5th, 2000. Those look good. And just to clean everything up, let's drop a select tool. Get rid of those four. And let's click back and forth. And those look identical. So that, that was tricky. If you're not good with regex, this one would have been really, really, really difficult to do. I'm sure you could have done it with regular formulas, but they would have been really nasty, a lot of if statements probably. And then this if statement's not horrible, I mean, it's not the best. But there you have it. That's probably the fewest tools I've ever seen used on this problem. And I looked over quite a few solutions just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything when I did this earlier. But in any case, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Data Coach channel for more awesome lessons on Alteryx and all things data, analytics, and visualization. Follow Data Coach on Twitter at AskTessellation and follow me personally at jemery underscore dataviz. Thanks again.